Hello, my name is Raina Prasacco. I'm an associate principal geologist with SLR Consulting, and I'm speaking today on behalf of my co-author, uh, Bill Roscoe, where on the topic of a paper that uh, Bill and I have recently published in the CIM journal, uh, entitled The Checkerboard Effect and Mineral Resource Reporting of Underground Mineral Resources. The main topic of the paper uh, discusses the estimation bias that may occur when preparing mineral resource statements from computer-assisted uh, block models um, yeah, for mineral resources. At the heart of it, the effect is due to the use of computers in preparing mineral resource estimates. There on the left, uh, we have an example of the way we used to do mineral resources back in the day before computers in the pre-digital age, before we even had mineral resources. There you can see an example of a polygonal uh, resource estimate in uh, longitudinal view, but we used um, various uh, manual methods for preparing uh, mineral resources uh, back then. These days, many computer uh, mineral resource estimates are generated with uh, the use of specialized computer software packages. And there in the image on the right uh, is an example of a block model uh, that is color coded by some grade uh, there. So you can see uh, very much a difference uh, in approaches between those two um, uh, methods and vintages of the technology. Yes, the uh, the digital digital uh, mineral resource estimation workflows allow the implementation of many many advanced uh, methods and techniques, and are, uh, allow much more power and information to be coded into the block models. But uh, the use of computer software packages uh, come with some pitfalls that we need to be aware of. A common approach in the digital age is to report uh, when preparing mineral resource statements is to report all blocks above a cutoff grade or value. We simply refer to this as using a block cutoff grade. The approach can have unintended results as the spatial continuity of the above cutoff grade blocks are not considered by just using a simple block cutoff grade. As well, the spatial continuity of any internal dilution blocks are not considered either. Uh, there, as an example, uh, there on the left, uh, we have a cartoon of 100 uh, blocks that are arranged in such a spatial configuration that they're very easy, they're all close together. And if we were to pose the question to the computer, go count all the red blocks, uh, the answer would come back as 100. There on the right is another situation. Uh, we still have 100 blocks. And if we apply a simple block cutoff grade where we ask the computer to go and report uh, count all the blocks and report uh, all of the blocks uh, uh, that are in the red above the cutoff grade, the answer would still come back as 100. But that's not the uh, the intent that we want. Uh, clearly, uh, the intent that we want is some, some mix of uh, the blocks uh, there in the middle uh, that are the, uh, the red blocks above the cutoff grade. Uh, two, four, five, six of those, six or seven of those white blocks that might be uh, included, those would be the internal dilution blocks, but not counting the numerous uh, isolated uh, red blocks uh, spaced around uh, that central cluster of um, uh, more uh, red blocks. And uh, we, we refer to this uh, condition in our paper as the checkerboard effect. Uh, so the paper goes into some detail as to uh, the sources uh, contributing to this effect and also provides uh, some solutions that are being used by our colleagues uh, in the industry to address this uh, issue. The paper can be found in the CIM journal. It came out in April 2021. It is volume 12, issue 2. The paper is uh, available to CIM members at the link there is CIM org uh, slash library CIM journal. And there's a little bit of navigation uh, uh, once you get to the CIM journal uh, web page. It's uh, simple enough. Volume 12, issue two. And uh, we've also prepared a brief uh, video presentation that we that we, we gave at the uh, 2021 CIM annual general meeting. And that is also available uh, to CIM members on the CIM webpage, but uh, via the CIM Academy, and there is the link uh, there. 
So thank you, and uh, we hope that uh, you enjoy the paper.